Nabaon kayo na madaming pasensya dito. Grabe. Even though in your deep in your heart, it's really hard. channel this is Rhea now um right now okay currently I am here in Costa Pavulosa I transferred last December 16 if you guys are following me on Instagram well I updated there that uh, I transferred so I'm here already for like a month since uh, now it's already January 19 okay just an update so far everything is okay um in France I was working in the club restaurant uh, same like while I was working also in Casa Fascinosa. But here, I'm working in the main dining. So, uh, things are a little bit different here. Well, but, you know, challenge is a challenge. Well, let's just, like, um, do our job and complete this contract. And finally, voila. I almost finished my contract, guys. I will almost um, be going home soon. So, that's all. That's my life update as of the moment. So, yes. Well, anyway, let's proceed to what is this video all about. So, yes, right now I'm in a passenger's cabin. So, it brings back the memories I have um, when I was in Costa Fasinosa. When, you know, during the quarantine times, I was also in this passenger cabin. Same look. Okay, just different uh, painting here. Well, anyway, um, so this video, I think when since I started vlogging regarding seafarers' life or like a topic about being a seafarer, this video has been the most requested one. Like uh, the interview tips or what are the things that they're asking during the interview since most of you guys uh, really wanted to become a seafarer and maybe some of you uh, already have already applied and will be having an interview soon. So hope that this video will help you guys so you can um, be accepted and finally become a seafarer very very soon. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, so what I will be um, discussing, discussing here is actually based on my experience what they asked me during my interview talking mainly about like being in the restaurant department since i am from the restaurant department but um and so for the other departments um i might have some idea but not that completely okay so the majority of the question that i'll be discussing here is about uh, being in the restaurant department so let's go ahead and start the number one question i think uh, is not just like an interview being for being a seafarer they will be asking this but this is being asked for all of the interviews okay so i think you are all familiar with this well number one is of course tell me about yourself well um why does the people doing interview are ask, is asking about this well of course they don't know you you are a complete stranger to them so they want to see is this a perfect candidate for us because the way you speak first the way you present yourself they will see like okay this is a perfect candidate for our company so you must say like not just like tell me about yourself you will just say about your name no it means that they want to know briefly about you <clears throat> so of course state your name uh, state like how old you are lastly just say about um at least three things to describe yourself because some of the uh, interviewee they will ask like describe yourself in three three words so they will not say it anymore you will say it in a complete package you know and just say like and i can describe myself in three words as and describe those three words okay so at least um they will like be shocked that oh wow he or she is prepared for this so at least they have an idea who you are so just give them that um, kind of impression okay so number two we will ask about your past job experience so guys um if you're applying on the same position just for example i am also an fnb attendant during my work in during my internship in thailand so my employer asked me about my job experience like what i am doing there what are my uh, goals and responsibilities how long i am working there and also um, what are the challenges that i encountered during my past job experiences and how i was able to overcome it so they will see like how you did in the past because they did not see you they don't know you how you work so at least talk about how you work in your job experience and then they will ask why you will be leaving your job if you like your job so just be honest and also don't 
talk mainly about negative that oh because of this i'm leaving because my co-worker is like no don't talk about like that maybe just say something like uh, i just want to explore more opportunity and i believe that this company or this position will give me more career growth and also i want to experience more for myself for, because i'm thinking for my future and i think that this new position that i'm applying for and then this company will give me that secured future that i was looking forward to so it's like that don't uh, say something negative about your past job experience hence give them a hint that you really like to be um hired in this position without being so desperate so i just felt that that's a good technique since i was doing it for all of my interviews Okay, so number three, um, they will also ask about like, what do you know about the job position that you're applying for? Of course, guys, you should know what are the uh, roles and responsibilities of the job position that you're applying for. Not just like you keep on applying because they're hiring, apply, 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 and hiring because that position is available. No, so you should at least research, okay? Google is always there. Google is our friend, okay? So Google, just um try to search a uh, background of that specific job position so if you don't have any idea of that it's just maybe it's related with your past job experience like supposed to be um f and b server so it's like maybe you're like thinking what is an f and b server before i was a waitress now a uh, new position is hiring with f and b server and my qual qualification suits in this um job position but at least try to search about it so that if they will ask about you you will have an idea they will not think that you're just applying for just because they're hiring at least you will have an idea when they ask you number four well um this is one of the trick questions to test your knowledge regarding being in that position okay so guys if you are someone who will be in the restaurant department very, very soon they might be asking about the knowledges regarding wine pairing and also like the five mother sauces um, what you know about something about the menu and how you communicate because guys in being in the restaurant department it's all about communication as well because you have to communicate with the passengers you have to communicate with the crew with your boss so they will see how you how you have the confidence to communicate learning new language is an advantage okay if you know other languages it's an advantage especially um my company is based in italy so mostly our passengers are europeans like french spanish italians um germans as well so learning knowing these languages is an advantage being a waiter being a fmb server you must have basic knowledge regarding this next will be number five um they also asked me what is my expectation about life on board they also asked me if i am a type of person who will who is like easily getting homesick okay but i told them confidently that no since um i also work in thailand for like half a year and i really enjoyed there if, even though that i'm alone and i'm independent independent and confident about my job and i'm really here because this is also my dream so if ever they give me opportunity i will not waste it guys if they ask you if you will be homesick because you will be working on board for seven to eight months like also it can be like until 10 months guys just say no okay because one of the challenges of the crew here on board they wanted to go home because of homesick okay so just um make your heart strong okay put an inspiration in the past what i mean to say is that just think about like the process that you're going through that you really wanted to be here that this is your dream so don't be homesick guys just try to fight every day okay that you will think that oh i was i will really finish my contract so you will never know guys that uh, oh next month i'll be going home time passes so fast here on board guys believe me like i really didn't really even realize that now it's like half of the month of january already so that's all guys if they ask you if you're easily getting homesick or what is your expectation about life on board just say confidently that um i'll be working there and i know that i'll be bonding with 
a lot of crew as well. I'm excited to meet other nationalities so I can learn a lot regarding their culture, languages, and also I am prepared. Okay, just tell them that you are prepared to um, experience the life on board. Um, lastly, they will also ask about um, regarding situational incidents okay so they will might be asking like example um you serve the wrong food and then the guest is allergic allergic to that food what will you do and what will you say so guys be prepared on this kind of questions okay because they might be do some kind of this situational questions wherein they will test your capability of resolving an issue so guys um, you're able to explain what you really wanted to to say so the possible answer for that maybe might be like first of course you have to apologize okay the guest or the passenger must feel that you admitted your mistake and just try to apologize don't be rude to them don't show attitude that oh because they're, you said like this you said like that guys here on board i'm promise you, you need to have a lot of patience so bound kayo na madaming pasensya dito grabe believe me guys um you must wear a mask okay what i mean to say is not not this type of mask what i mean to say is you have to wear a mask with your face like you wanted to to like frown you wanted to make an upset face to them but guys believe me if you become upset to them they will become more upset to you so just try to show them that you're smiling you're even though in your deep in your heart it's really hard <laughs> But you really have to put a mask here, guys. So anyway, just admit that you are wrong, okay? And um, try to see how what the passenger wants. Or if you cannot um, resolve the issue on your own, your supervisor or manager will always be there to help you and resolve this issue. So guys, um, don't be afraid to ask for help to your um, seniors because they are trained to do this actually so they'll be the one who knows what to do you know you, you did a mistake mistake will always be there okay mistake is like um part of our life that you must have a mistake so that in the future you know you will not do the same mistake again okay so at least you learn from it that's the most important thing so that's it that guys i just have like you know 30 minutes break time and i thought that instead of sleeping i might as well um do this video since a lot of people really requested about this so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned something from me so and wish you all good luck for those people who are applying for becoming a seafarer i'm really proud of you guys and thank you for supporting my channel and seeing my channel as an inspiration and also seeing my channel as uh, kind of like source or a kind of like info hub you know like because i talk about like my life here on board at least you guys have an idea you know so if ever i can help guys don't hesitate to comment below okay on this video or any of my videos i'm really trying my best to um help everyone okay so good luck again but of course don't forget to like subscribe and also click on the bell icon to be notified my upcoming video why is my voice like this i'm having a cold again anyway guys i'll see you all next time bye bye <laughs>